Hello, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can use the SDLTTF uh, library. So it's just a simple, we can write something to the screen. Okay, uh, SDL has natively hasn't got a function which can write a true type font to the screen. Uh, actually the only thing you could do is to get an image, write all of the character you want, and then always just uh, you know get a part of the picture which is just one letter and write that to the screen and move the uh, move one pointer to somewhere else so uh, which shows that where should you put the uh, actual character so you can write a function like that not too hardly but it is a little bit more easier to use a library which is uh, pre-built for us Okay, so first thing to do is to include the library for sdl-sdl underscore ttf.h Okay, uh, probably uh, if you have, uh, uh, you know, a code box and uh, uh, you should actually put the ttf header file which you downloaded uh, I make an annotation to the video uh, the Xerox video, so just you know, download it and put the header file to the FDLs includes folder and put all of the lib, uh, all of the files from lib folder to FDL lib folder, so you don't have to change anything. Uh, yeah, that's the solution. Okay, so if you get something like FDL.ttf is cannot be found or something like that. Uh, then probably you don't install it or you don't install it correctly to install it on uh, uh, Linux you use the sudo apt-get install libfdl-ttf2.0-dev uh, 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 ok that's about the installation no so let's get f uh, continue so uh, first thing to do when you use the TTF library is to actually initialize it. So TTF init. Okay, it doesn't require any parameter. Okay, and we need to open a font which we will use. We need to give the name of the font and the size. Okay, so uh, make it TTF font. This is the name of the variable and we call it font. Uh, actually this is the type of the variable and this is the name of the variable obviously uh, so ttf open font the first parameter is the name of the font I have a font in my desktop called air.ttf just I download the random font actually the first font uh, I found so yeah that's it uh, the second parameter is size make it 32 that's quite enough big Alright, we need to create an FDF surface uh, variable which will contain our text. We call it uh, text. Alright, and uh, then somewhere we have to create the actual text. Uh, make it down here. Okay, it seems a good place. Alright, to initialize the text we need the TTF underscore render text underscore and how do you want to render the text there are a few types of how you can render it there are solid which we will use there are shaded rendered and something like that so yeah I think that's the free okay so we use the solid okay the first parameter of the uh, render text is the font we will use we created a font up there in a moment ago so give that the second parameter is what do we want to write out we want to write out uh, hello world something like that okay uh, but the for a uh, third parameter is the color but it's uh, it is not in uint format it is co something called in fdl form uh, fdl color fdl color and call it uh, color 3 because we have a color and a color 2 okay and just initialize it to all black 
like that and give the color free to it all right and then the last thing we need to do is to uh, blit this surface this this blit this text to the screen because we have the in the surface the text but it is actually not on the screen so here in the render we use the sdl blit surface function and the first parameter you probably know is the uh, source this is the text the second is what part of the source do we want to copy we want to copy the entire source and uh, then the destination okay uh, so that we want to copy it to the screen and then where do we want to put it inside the screen we press new so we uh, use the default zero zero setting okay and then one last thing remains i forget it is to actually close deinitialize these things so we have to free the surface called text as i said we have to free all the surfaces except the screen we use it using because it is automatically freed by the fdl quit okay we have to close the font so ttf close font and the name of the font so font and the last thing is to uh, quit from the ttf so ttf quit it doesn't require any parameter it just deallocate the memory all right that was it so we can compile the program uh, when you compile the program you should use another uh, uh, linker setting actually that's i think what it called so lsdl underscore ttf uh, this will just tell that use the ttf library if you use cold blocks, then go to your project settings and add the lsdl ttf uh, before the lsdl and uh, you can compile the program and now we can run the program okay and actually as you can see our screen is black because uh, probably i clear it black and not white as i remembered never mind we just set the text to white and uh, and now oh we have to compile okay oops sorry i find out that when i deleted the part that we don't use i if, uh, i deleted the fdl flip as well so as i said we draw in the back buffer and if we don't use the fdl flip it just remains in the back buffer instead of go to the actual window so we just flip the screen so actually we draw it to the screen and now we can compile it and as you can see the hello world text is appear uh, so sorry about that little uh, glitch actually too because i first think that the screen was white uh, and then the second i just uh, suddenly deleted this sdr flip when i cleaned the code so yeah it happened it could happen with anyone so that's the basic of the FDL font and now that we are know the FDL font we can start the snake game so doing the snake game then a little collision detection thing and then start with uh, the pong game okay thank you for watching and have a great day